thought I'd just do a quick video for the new PSIO devices come out for the PlayStation um, and basically talk about the uh, getting some games if you notice some games might not have the audio tracks playing in them uh, this was a common case with uh, if you ever used to run emulators for the PlayStation system um, you may notice sometimes some of the older games uh, there would be no music that's because I think probably majority of the first batch of games that used to come out of the PlayStation used to stream the audio tracks from the actual disc itself and if you didn't have the correct file system set up for your games you would never get the music playing uh, basically there's something called uh, a cue sheet file which basically um, what you'd have if you had the game you'd have uh, probably a bin file which would be the actual disc image of the game and then you had something called a cue sheet or cue file which basically what that Q file was, it would tell the uh, the emulator, or in this case the PSIO device, at what points on the disc tracks uh, track started and finished, so it'd know where to look onto the game image and to start loading that track for that time index. Um, at the moment, as it stands, the PSIO device doesn't support your standard Q sheets that the majority of emulators do uh, it uses a modified system known as a QU3 or QU2 systems. And basically, what you need to do is you just need to um, grab your Q sheet file or the raw data of the Q sheet, and uh, there's a program that converts like a Q sheet into a CU3 file or CU2 file so that the PSIO device can read it. And I'll just do a quick video on uh, what that involves. So basically, if you go to psio.com, which is the uh, the main web page for the PSI device, and if you go up to the beta center, you'd have to register yourself. And in there, there's a uh, a program called uh, PSIO System Console. And basically, what this does, uh, the main purpose of this thing is a uh, a lot of different things that aren't available for the PSI device at the moment. But one of them is converting a cue sheet to a supported format that this device uses. Uh, basically what we want to do if we head over to this website here which is called redump.org and what we want to find is if we go down to uh, discs and go to Sony PlayStation this is basically a database of all the cue sheets for all the games that require a cue sheet on the PlayStation. Uh, so for example, at the moment, one game I've noticed doesn't have audio playing on the PSIO device is Roll Cage 2. So we go up here and we go to R, and then we scroll down until we find Roll Cage. Uh, here's Roll Cage Stage 2. You notice on the left hand side here, there's flags. I have the US version, so I want to click on the US flag, and this will bring up this page. And here we have the Q sheet information and what we want to do is we want to highlight this we want to copy it and then you want to op open up a program uh, if we go so here this is uh, some Q sheets I've done at the moment uh, let's just open uh, open it with notepad we'll uh, paste in the information. Now we have to do a slight modification here. What we have to do first of all is we have to delete this data text here and we have to grab this total cell line at the bottom, cut that and we have to add it to the top. Paste it in and now we have to add how many tracks there are. So down here we see there's 13 tracks. Obviously each cue sheet is going to be different. So we add 13 in front of the total, and then we want to save this as the uh, the game, what the uh, the image file of the game's called. We have to make sure they're both the same. So if your game's called Roll Cage 2, you have to name this Roll Cage 2. Or it's actually your proper name's Roll Cage Stage 2, but I think my file name is actually called Roll Cage 2 and we want to change it as extension CU3 and we save that 
we can close that down now and if we load this PSI system console program if we go to file convert CU3 to CU2 and here we have Volcage 2 which is the file we just saved double click on that and that's created a QU2 file which is this one here so we have to do if we go to where my games are drag that over here, drag that over here uh, where's roll cage? roll cage stage 2 see at the moment there's a there's a uh, Q file in there already that won't work with the PSIO device at the moment so what we want to do is we're going to copy this over paste that in and I don't know if it has to be capitals but I'm just going to change it to capitals just in case probably doesn't matter Put it in the safe side, and there's a space in between there. For the purpose of this, we'll delete the actual Q file. And so, yeah, that's it. Now, when we play this on the PSRI device, it should have uh, the game music playing. Uh, that's all for this guide. I'll probably do some other guides. I was thinking of doing a guide of uh, comparing the loading speeds of the PSRI device compared to a normal disc game. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do a few more videos on the PSI device as I go along and we'll find new features of it.